everybody and welcome to Toy Fair 2016. I'm Alex Albrecht. We are so happy because Mattel is unboxing the Mattel Gallery, usually close to the public, but I asked some people around. I said, hey, can I get in there with some friends? That means you. With me today, spinning some tracks, is 11-year-old DJ Kai Song. What's going on, Kai? You ready for today? Yeah. It's going to be fun. Why don't you give me some walking music? Yeah? All right. I love this. This is going to be a fun day. It's going to be packed. We got a lot of stuff to cover. Literally, the Ninja Turtles are here with us. It's going to be fantastic. We're going to be talking to some of the most popular YouTube influencers out there. Speaking of talking to people, throughout the day, I'm going to be taking Twitter questions at my hashtag, at Alex Albrecht, for the Magic 8 Ball. I mean, what better way to answer your questions at a toy fair than with the Magic 8 Ball? So use the hashtag at or ask8, ask the number 8. It'll be fantastic. We're going to show you new stuff from Barbie. We're going to show you new stuff from Hot Wheels, which is very excited. One of my favorite things is Thomas and Friends. You'll see it in a little bit. It's fantastic. So much to see here at the Javits Center. I'm so happy that Mattel is letting me unbox this experience for you. Crazy, right? All right, if you're in a toy fair, what better place to start than Gotham City? You know it, Batman versus Superman, Dawn of Justice. Let's take a quick look at the movie. The greatest gladiator match in the history of the world. God versus man. Day versus night. You're psychotic. There's a three syllable word for any thought too big for little minds. can be innocent. So look, there's going to be lots of great Batman vs. Superman toys, but York is here to show us the Batman vs. Superman voice changer helmet. York, what is going on? Alright, so we got it right here. Batman vs. Superman voice changer helmet, like you said, press a button here, you get lights, sounds, and phrases, so I'll press here. You can't defeat me, Superman. What? Your day is over. Oh my but God. now, I don't yes. just look like my favorite superhero, I sound like my favorite superhero. What? Yeah. That, what? I love it, can I try it? Absolutely. Oh, oh my God. Hair and makeup is so mad at me right now. It is the darkness. This is fantastic. So we actually decided the best way to show off this helmet would be to have our friend Matt run around New York City with the helmet on and see what people say. Let's take a look. Thanks, Alex. I'm Matt Zoller, and I'm out here in Times Square with the Batman voice changer helmet. We're going to try it out. I found another man named Alex, which is a lot of fun. It's a big hoop for us, and he wants to try on the Batman voice changer helmet. I am the real Batman from Norway. The Joker, I'm gonna find him, I'm gonna destroy him. Yes! Well, what would you like Batman to say in the Batman? Hello, my name is Batman. Hello, my name is Batman. <laughs> Is there anything you'd like for Batman to say in the mask? I'm the strongest man in the world. I'm the strongest man in the world. I'm the maddest man in the world. My name is Fabian, and I'm coming from Switzerland. I'm 26 years old. I'm a nurse. Fabian just gave us like her dating profile credentials. <laughs> My friend Terrence here has a very cool car. 
and it reminds me of the Batmobile. Do you have a message uh, for our audience as Batman? Stay out of the shot. Thank you. Oh! Okay, let's see if we can get it on your head. All right, you ready? Yeah. Got a good, healthy head of hair. All right, is it ready? Yeah! All right, well, that's a wrap from here at Times Square. We had a lot of fun with the Batman voice changer mask, and we're going to throw it back to you, Alex. And enjoy the rest of Toy Fair. I'm off to go fight some crimes. Oh, man. So I'm here with Braxton for DC Superhero Girls. So tell me about DC Superhero Girls. Uh, it's a brand new franchise, a partnership between DC Comics, Mattel, and Warner Brothers. It's celebrating female superheroes, but re-envisioned as their high school selves. Yeah. Yeah, not quite in control of their superpowers yet. They're still finding their personalities. It's fantastic. Yeah, it's a really cool idea and a really girl-friendly line. Girls really wanted superheroes, but there weren't enough female ones out there yeah. for, you know, for them, they felt. And so these are the action dolls. So what, like, are the, what sizes are these? Like, what the, Action dolls, so they are 12 inches tall, cool. highly articulated, they can strike these strong action poses. Nice. Uh, they made the body sculpts based on female athletes that are out there, so they're really oh. athletic and powerful looking, in addition to being, you know, pretty, yeah, well, having yeah. great hair and fashions to play with, but yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. they've all got their superpowers, uh, and they can stand on their own. Oh, I love it. Cool. So no doll stand required. Not well, because they're superheroes. They can stand on their own. If, super, he if superheroes Literally need a doll stand, right? yeah, come, like <laughs> come on. So, so they also have matching uh, action figures. Is that correct? They do have matching. Action so we're figures. super excited. We have mommy and Gracie. How are you hey, guys? Everybody. Hi. Hey. You we're guys, so excited. First off, you're here, and there's toys that haven't even been produced yet. It's pretty cool. I mean, I don't even know how they let any of us in. <laughs> and, and by the way, I'm just trying not to steal the prototypes. Well, that, that is something that's very important. Do not steal the prototypes. We learned that a couple of years ago. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I love like it. That. I love it. Mm -hmm. So what do you guys think of the action heroes? They're cool. They're cool. Yeah, She's that's nervous. what I'm talking about. Yeah. I love it. I've but, never done a live show before. Yeah, we've never <laughs> been live before. But welcome, yeah. to, welcome to the live stream. Thank Apparently, you. I've never been on live TV She's before. She's never been on live TV <laughs> before. But I, I mean, we're just like... We've been dying for these since we first saw artwork like over a year ago. Yeah. And it's just so exciting. And I remember back when like, it's like Cartoon Network had like the DC block and it's like they had like those shorts of like, it was like, um, I think it was like Supergirl, Wonder Woman and Batgirl, I think. Yeah. And they were like, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. She was excited. See, we're like, it's, yeah, we're never, we're never used to using I'm, I have either. to say that one of the things I find really cool about this is that there's a, an, a doll and action figures. So it's, it's like, awesome. you want to have the doll do the dress mm -hmm. stuff? Go for it. Yeah. You want to get down and dirty and, you know, do some action? Well, yeah, and I mean, I Bam. think that's huge because there's usually aren't, for girls, there aren't action figures. Yeah. And, you know, there should be. Yeah. Because really, you know yeah. what? Girls do action. Yeah. They who, really do. Who needs brushable hair when you can throw things at wall and not worry about their hair getting tangled. Exactly. Yes. And these are wallproof. I heard that. Yeah. I, I, that's not official. Okay, but they most likely wallproof. Yeah. Uh, so also we have... They can shenaniganize properly. Yeah, yeah. totally. I, I, they got the shenanigan articulation, which is good. Yeah. Uh, I saw also they have the uh, bracelet communicators. That's a yeah, scientific like term. Shenaniganize is... A, it's, it's, yeah, it's that's a science. Term. Yeah. That's science but with yeah, a question so, mark. So I'm thinking Gracie and I can get the walkie-talkies and then like I can be downstairs and yeah. I can be like... I can be like Supergirl, come in, Supergirl, this is Wonder Woman. <laughs> no, that's not Supergirl, it's, it's the meme lord. Whatever meme your superpower for, oh, is. Okay, yeah, so yeah. what would be your superpower? Meme lord, that sounds superpower fantastic. Is, my superpower would be teleportation, because then I could get all over New ah. York City, like that. Um, yeah, especially yeah. in the cold. My yeah. superpower would ha be having a carrot that I- Very specific. That this I, is very insane superpower. That I throw at people, and then once I throw the the carrot at the person, mm -hmm. then I pick up the carrot, and then I take a bite of it, and then I get that person's superpower. It's carrot superpower what? theft. That's fantastic. And no one would see that coming. They'd be like, I did Ooh, not. A carrot. As she was talking, I did not see that coming. Yeah. I was like, all right, where is it going? That's Stealing life with Gracie, my friend. That's basically what talking to me is. You, I love you it. You have no idea what's Never going on. All right, can I get a superhero pose? Like, what would your superhero pose be? My superhero pose would be... Nice. And then mine would just be like... 
with the carrot. Casually eats casually carrot. Eats carrot. <laughs> I love casually eats carrot. That's my, that might be my favorite thing <laughs> of this whole day. Yeah. You most definitely casually put, eat hashtag carrot. Hashtag casually eat carrot. Just put that on a t-shirt. Right? I love it. All right, I'm gonna see what uh, DJ Kai's song's got a Monster High remac, remix. DJ Kai, take it away. <laughs> So we are here for Monster High, the Great Scarier Reef, which uh, we have a uh, present, Aaliyah, was yes. it? Aaliyah, so when does uh, Monster High, Great Scarier Reef come out? So it actually just premiered on Nickelodeon Friday night. Oh wow, okay, yeah. cool. So they can get the DVDs, everything's good? Yeah, the DVDs will be coming out soon as well. Fantastic, so who do we have here? So this is a brand new character for us who uh, we were introduced to in the Great Scarier Reef. This is the first ever two-headed doll that we've ever done. It is Perry and Pearl Serpentine, a pair of sisters who are always dueling it out, bickering just like sisters do. Hey man, I hear you. And we also have with us Elvira and Chase from the Doll Circle. Guys, Hi. Hello. Great Scarier Reef. I'm super excited about it. I love this one thing that really surprised me about Monster High is that they're always unique, always different. They always stand out. And like she said, it's like the first two-headed doll. So when it first like got aired and everything, I was like, oh my god, this is so awesome. They kind of have like dueling sisters. Yeah, we actually caught the movie on Nickelodeon. So on Friday, yeah. We yeah like, so I love was she was she in the movie? She yes, was in the movie. That's yeah. fantastic. She's actually, like really a pretty, actually a pretty big part in the movie. That's yeah. awesome. And she she's like the daughter of Hydra or something like that. Look at me. What? <laughs> that is the one bullet point I read, everybody. So just uh, let's not like, set oh. expectations. <laughs> That's yeah. fantastic. It was a really good character in the movie. I really like the two sisters. Like she said, dueling and everything like that. That's awesome. Because I have a brother, so we always dueled. So I kind of yeah. felt that same thing. I have feel a sister, so I know the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, when you're like, oh, yeah. So when you guys, yeah, I have a sister. I have two sisters. I don't know if I would say that they're quite a two headed monster, but we have definitely <laughs> butted heads, definitely. especially oh, yeah. growing <laughs> up. So what's your, what's your favorite thing that you're excited about from the Great Scarier Reef? Just the overall doll line. I really like how they incorporated having like almost like mermaids, like fish yeah. style into it, which is really different. So they took the normal doll and they kind of added in that extra little element. Again, Monster is always I, unique. I have to say uh, the Kraken was probably the, like the coolest part of the movie to me. Oh yeah? Yeah, like um, there is actually a Kraken, which is cool. Yeah, like you see him. Everyone thought he was evil, but re like in reality, he was actually a really, was a really good, good guy. Good character. <laughs> That's fair. Well, look, if you're gonna do an undersea, you gotta have, have a Kraken. Kraken. <laughs> yeah. But I like the take that he's just sort of like a cranky dude. That's like, guys, get on my Kraken hole. Yeah, he wasn't even that. He was just like, he was just upset that his daughter got treated wrong. So. Yeah. Well, that is that's actually very very cool. Uh, so let's check out real quick the designer boutique Frankie Stein doll. Right over here. So what's the deal with Frankie Stein here? So we are kind of dialing up hair play and fashion play with Monster High this year. I think that's good. We know girls love to be their own fashion designers, and they're already doing that at home with the dolls they have. So we are giving the tools to them to bring that to life. That's fantastic. Yeah, absolutely. And so does it come, what, is, what do you get when you get a, a Frankie set? So you get everything, including the Frankie doll. You get these awesome four dresses, plus the one she's already wearing, so really five. Nice. Uh, stencils, markers, stickers to completely customize five different outfits for Frankie. So with the stencils, mm -hmm. am I, you're actually drawing on the dresses? Oh, I Correct. see, they're blank yeah. dresses. Cool, yeah. cool, cool. You can cool. draw freehandedly or you can use the stencils, no limits. That's fantastic. Yeah. And now you guys are doing uh, Monster High minis. Yes, absolutely. Is that correct? I mean, come on, minis. Let's check them out. Yeah, these are, I, I, I'm going to say this a lot today. These are adorable. They're monster cute is what we're going for. Oh, nice, yeah, monster, monster cute. cute. I dig on that. We're uh, making monsters a little bit more approachable to introduce new generations of girls to the monsters themselves. Gotcha, yep. and so are these, how do we purchase these? Are they all blind packs? Are they Correct. some blind packs? Yes. So they're gonna be in blind packs, and as I'm sure you guys know, throughout Monster High, their lockers are coffins. So each <laughs> blind pack is gonna be a little pot pink coffin that has a hinge in the middle that opens to reveal the doll inside. That is mm -hmm. fantastic. If Another, it couldn't get yeah. any more more monster cute. That's monster You cute. added coffins. Yeah, exactly. That's fantastic. Now, I've been looking at this board over here. Yeah. Uh, so what is Monster High doing with the Born This Way Foundation? Because so this 
is amazing. It's amazing. It's a huge deal for us. It's a year-long collaboration uh, that we're working on with the Born This Way Foundation, which, as I'm sure you know, is Lady Gaga and yep. her mother's foundation. It's really amazing because it's all about empowering youth, young women to, uh, you know, anti-cyberbullying, mm -hmm. be kind to one another, and just really make the world a better place. And, you know, Lady Gaga calls her fans little monsters. Yeah. So who better to be our head monster than Lady Gaga herself? That is fantastic. Well, congratulations. Thank, Thank you, you so much, much for Absolutely. taking the time. We... I mean, look, I've thrown adorable around already. It's only going to get more adorable because this may be one of my favorite, favorite things in this whole thing. My mini Mixie cues. How are you doing, guys? I'm Alex. Brandon. Brandon. Amy Jo. Amy Jo. So you guys are from uh, DCTC. First off, my mini Mixie cues, right? Yeah. So cute. I, it's too cute. It's almost too cute. I feel this is like a little much. So, so, Bi uh, so Bianca, yes. take us through some of my mini mixy cues. Come on in here, show us what we got. I know we're not, like, some of these things are literally prototypes, but. Yeah, so this is our newest mini collection of design. But it's usually tiny characters with major personalities. And the way we're setting ourselves apart from other collection designs is we have a constant swap of features. So you can actually. I like that, I like that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So as their collection grows, their world grows too. That is fantastic. So did you guys get a chance to take a little look we did. at some of these? I mean, these are, God, I hate to say the adorable so many times, but yeah. they're just adorable. They are. They're so cute. And I'll, I'll gently grab the few that we can touch. Yes, please. So they have different versions that are common, rare, and ultra rare. So this is an oh. example of an ultra rare. So the Dude, you so want to take that home. I, I can do. see it in your eyes. I do. I'm like, uh, <laughs> that disappears. <laughs> That's fantastic. You'll know where it went. Yeah, they're really cute. And and like Bianca was saying, so you can mix them and swap them. And oh, so when they come out, they actually have like their little bodies are yeah, in there. I thought it was just like take the. Oh, no, that's fantastic. Pull. They don't come off easily right now because, like she said, they're prototypes. But like everything mixes and matches. So. That is fantastic. Yeah, and there's play adorable. sets, right, and rooms mm -hmm. that you can and, have. Like, for see them. how the little rooms build on top of each other. Yeah. So, and then I want to walk over here because I want to show you something that's really. Please, I, let's okay. let's do it. I love that. You want me to walk over and see adorable? I'm walking. So this is especially cute because is that a keychain? It is. Or you can like put it on your zipper and you can put your little characters in there and take them around with you. That is fantastic. Yeah, these are gonna be great. Cause look, awesome. if you get like an ultra rare, you're gonna want to put it on your neck and yeah, go to school absolutely. and be like, "What's up?" You'll be like, "Look, I got mm -hmm. my ultra rare." Yeah, I got I got Eskimo. Yeah. My mini mixie cues. Yeah. I'm cute. super. I'm super and excited. And I can't remember the combinations. What did you say? In one little Bianca was telling us a little bit about it. So in one little set, yeah. 400 combinations. 400, 400 combinations, combinations in one set. Yeah. Oh my God, this is so fantastic. Well, thank you yeah. guys so much. Really appreciate Absolutely. it. Uh, so we are going to do our first magic eight ball question from the Twitter sphere. Are you ready? Does Batman stand a chance against Superman? Now that that's a little rough, because. I mean, it's Batman, Superman. Let's see what the Magic 8-Ball says. Wait for it. Oh, it says pretty hazy. Try again. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let's see what we got. Outlook good. Outlook looks good for Batman. This is fantastic. Well, look, you guys have seen the game. You all know it and love it. But here we are going to see the toys for Minecraft. How are you guys doing? Oh, great. So we have Will here and Robin from Robin and Penny. Hi, how are you? I'm doing fantastic. How are you doing? I'm, I'm a little nervous, but that's okay. You know what? This is what live streams do. I know. Do. It's cool. It's so much fun, yeah. though. But look. This is really cool. This is fantastic. Yeah, this so, awesome. Will, yes. give us a give us a quick <laughs> chat about what are we seeing here. Thanks, Alex. So, yeah, we've got a lot of news in 2016 with Minecraft. Uh, we've got a brand new scale of figure, the five inch action figure. Ooh. In addition, we have the Minecraft feature figure play set. So it's a new category for Minecraft with lots of features from the game. We have zombies that'll jump out at you. As what? well as you can actually find the diamond to bring it to your craft table and create the diamond pickaxe. Uh, but the other category that we're entering is the RC category for Minecraft. Oh, that's right. We have the radio controlled ghast. Absolutely. Which, the by the way, this scares the, the heck out of me. So uh, get ready. My, my okay, I'm, I'm going to back up. <laughs> Robin and I are just going to well, be yeah. scared over here in the corner. Ah, oh! That is cool. That is awesome. Dude, as long as what? Land on me, tell me or something. I think. I always feel like they're going to take my soul. Yeah. Well, that's the piece of characters too, right? <laughs> like, yeah. They go. Tong. They look at you and then you're. Ah! 
<laughs> wow. Oh that my God. That is fantastic. Yeah. So first off, which one of these do you think is your favorite right here, Robin? I'm gonna go with Guy on Fire. My yeah, zombie on fire, because I, I always try to. Really cool. Yeah, because when you get them into the lava, they always yeah. catch on fire. It's, it's fun to shear the too. sheep as well. You oh can, my uh, god, you can shear the sheep! Remove the wool, absolutely. Yeah, they each have a feature from the game. So this guy looks cool too. You can remove the armor from Alex. That oh, cool. is fantastic. I like the purple. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, they're awesome. Is the purple, is that, that's not diamond armor, right? Or is purple diamond? What's the thing? I don't know. And speaking of diamonds, this is, a, as I mentioned, you can actually oh, find cool. the diamond in the place that. That's fantastic. You put it in your craft table. Yeah. And then there's your diamond. What? Cool. Dude, too much fun. What too much fun. And lots awesome. of repeat play because you can really build up this play set lots of different ways. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Rebuild it, which is all of Minecraft is about, too. Building world and... Yeah. You know, making your own thing. So that's really cool. Absolutely. Well, thank you guys so yeah, much. Speaking of building, cool. what do we know about building if not for Mega Blocks? Thank you so much. We are back. It is Mega Blocks time. And what is better than Mega Blocks? Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. What's up, guys? There you go. I got some. I love it. I love it. Taryn, why don't you come on in here? So this is Taryn. Hi. Why don't you tell us a little bit about what you got going on here with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and Mega Blocks? Yes. So this is the massive launch for Mega Blocks 2016. Yeah, there's a lot Ninja of toys here. Ninja Turtles, and we've got the iconic party wagon here. Of course. This is fully buildable. It features Raph and Shredder battling it out. And we can open this up, and we have our awesome tire launcher as well. I'm so excited. So Come on! Awesome! You can launch oh, tires yeah. at people. That's right. Of this course, is fantastic. We can launch tires at people, and we even have an awesome action here where Raph can unleash his double slashing action at Shredder as well, and that is our iconic party wagon toy. That's for fantastic. Mega Blocks. You guys have so many different stations here it's ridiculous i love that's it that's right because we have uh innovative products for turtle fans of all ages many different categories and they're so easy to put together we that's decided right. to have paul and shannon from ps toys attempt a little uh, a little bit of a uh, of a mix em up as it were how are you guys good how are you Alex, how about you i'm doing fantastic wonderful <laughs> so we have an idea and it's probably gonna be great. Okay. Okay. Which is a great. So this is Paul and Shannon from okay. PS Toy Reviews. So we're gonna fly in an almost finished uh, uh, guy here. And what we want you to do, I don't know if you've seen this before, okay. but we want Paul, you're gonna give all the commands. Okay. All right. <laughs> yeah, I love that this is already, she's like, no, this is a bad idea. Right. So you're gonna put your hands in your pockets. Okay. Yeah. Hands now come on, come Got over it. here. All right. Now Shannon, you're gonna put your hands in his, yep, through his hand, through his armholes. There you go. There we go. And now you can't see. Now you've got to tell her what you need to do in order to finish this toy set here. Okay. Right, Ready? Bend down. There pick, it is. All right. Pick up, pick up the van. I feel there like there you this. go. All right. There, okay. Now. Ninja now, Turtle Party Wagon. Take, take your, take your left hand. Put it down. Find, feel for a tire. There oh. you are. This is actually right, going way for, better than I thought already. Okay. All right. Let's put it on. Got to put the tire feel, on. Feel for, feel for let's a peg. See. There we go. Oh, okay, yay! first off, you guys have definitely <laughs> made toys before. This is ridiculous. Well, we've been married a long time, so we work well as a team. So. <laughs> yeah. All right. This now, is fantastic. Find it. Find it. There we go. Oh my. Okay. All right. Now we need another peg. This is fantastic. Ooh, somewhere. Wait. There, there you go. Down. So what? Down. So <laughs> when this toy, so you, this is going to come with everything. Does it come with any figures, or do you buy the figures separately? Yes, it forward, comes forward, with Wrath and forward, Shredder. Forward, forward, oh, Wrath and Shredder! I totally yeah. forgot. Okay. That's fantastic. That's right. I love it. What's really great about this is in all of our play sets, twenty dollars and up, we're bringing action to them like never seen before, so they can break out their turtle power. Yeah. Things like slashing, zip lining, twisting. So it's going to be super cool this year. I love it. That's so good. How is it going over here? It's going, it, so well. going so well. Yay. Look, boom, Yay. you guys, Woo. I mean, that is basically Woo. it. You guys are fantastic. <laughs> so what do you guys think? These are awesome. Um, 
that's actually really fun trying to right? do that. Yeah. That's We're a great that. challenge. That's yeah. a new a new game. I want to see. We're that doing that on your next party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that that's great. I love these little figures. Wish we had all four here oh, to yeah. share with you guys. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. They're they're really awesome. Yeah, I think this is going to be kind of cool. I love the idea that they're not just making them to be built, but that making them to be played with. You know what I mean? Yeah, that there's absolutely. action to be happening, having in them. You know, you like the little launcher idea, right? Yeah, I want to launch something. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Woo! Oh, that was actually way better than I thought. That's fantastic. Oh, my God, that's so great. Well, thank you guys so much. We actually have a slow-mo instant, re re instant replay. Let's see what we got. Fantastic. I love it. We're going to do the slow-mo. We're big on the slow-mo instant replays. Okay. This is going to be fantastic. Everybody. We got, dude, there's so many things that are happening that are toys that are jumping and flipping and all sorts of crazy stuff. Oh, yeah. Even more coming up. Thank you guys so Thank much you. for being here. All right, we're going to see, Ka oh, we're going over to Kubro's real quick. Over to Kubro's. Very exciting. Everybody's in. What's up, guys? Hey, I'm Alex. Hey, I'm Kelly. Kelly, nice to meet you. So uh, do I have my Kubro's? So, Kubros, we're over here. Everybody's here. This is all fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just, yeah, card. Does Fernando have my card for the Kubros stuff? Card for the Kubros stuff? All right, so Kubros, hit me. Kubros. So, Kubros is a, a brand new line in, in Mattel Mega Blocks. As you can see, we're really pulling out the, the pop icon figures here from. Oh, dude, these are from my childhood. I love oh, this yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Video games, TV shows, lots of really cool stuff. And we're making them collectible, buildable, and you can display them in a really unique way. So, like here, uh, you build him from scratch, yeah. and then he's also articulated. So, you Interesting. can pose him. Yeah, you can, you can interact with other lines as well, like other of these Mega Blocks lines that we've got. Um, so, some really cool stuff that we've got going on here. That's fantastic. Yeah. I love that you guys spring. have He-Man and Skeletor. So the, when, yeah. when can we get them? Uh, around spring is the first six figures being launched. And do, which are the six figures that you guys don't know yet? Uh, it's going to be those six right over there. Oh, my yeah. God. I'm so excited. My favorite Spock. He's got the old, like, uh, tricorder that he's got. Oh, he's got the, the old tricorder. Yeah, from the original TV show. Oh, my God. <laughs> I love it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, we're going to pass it on over to DJ Kai, who's got a Hot Wheels remix. This is Jake. He's been working on this Hot Wheels track for days. Now it's time to put it to the test. Begin. Start from the bedroom, went around the chair. Then hit a ramp and flew up in the air. Shot across the hallway into Sister's room. Through the window of a dollhouse, zoom, zoom, zoom. Right over the cap while his father was asleep. It happened so fast that it didn't make a peep loop. He went around the hamster, but it looked so cool. It was the film finale. Guys, we're going to talk Hot Wheels for the next little bit here, and I'm very excited. Dana is here to tell us all about the VR 360 Viewmaster. That's right. I love it. Viewmaster. So, I like so that. So hit me up with Viewmaster. Absolutely, for sure. A Viewmaster is a heritage that has been around since 1939. I remember it well. Right? I mean, and not from the 30s, but yes. <laughs> clearly. And so it's, uh, it's that old school fashion of clicking down, right, on mm -hmm. your right hand, and you move frame to frame with the little discs. Well. This is 2016, so yep. we're kicking it up a notch, right? With a new and improved version seen here. And this is for 2016, it's brand new, so it's going to have an enhanced lens, mm -hmm. focal enhancement so we can zoom in and out of our 3D world with like a binocular-esque fashion. Oh, so if you have like glasses, it'll for make sure. it easier, got it. It's gonna help if you have glasses and it's also gonna help just anybody else who does it, zoom in and out for a different experience. Got it, got it. And for a fully immersed experience, we're adding sound. Works with both an Android and an iPhone. Plug in your headphone jack and you're golden. That is fantastic. Yeah. So what do you guys have as far as uh, uh, experiences right now? Oh, well, right now we focused, we're doing a Hot Wheels experience. Yeah, very excited about gonna that. Which is going to be amazing. But right now we're focusing on some edutainment. Yeah. So we have education and entertainment, dinosaurs, underwater world. We work with Nat Geo and Discovery. That's so cool. And uh, destination, so we take you all around the world. Space, so we take you all the way up to space. It's pretty incredible. And we're also working with a new... Um, 
VR and an actual tactile experience. So it's a two-player game, as opposed to just these oh. individual experience of VR where you're just unto yourself. This is going to be you and a friend, you and I. Yeah, I love play, it. Play, and you could be on the outside world figuring out codes and helping me get out of. That's fantastic. All right, so experience. let me see what I got in here right, right now. This sure. is the Hot Wheels. Yes. All right. Here we are in the Hot oh, Wheels 360 Challenge Stadium. Oh wow! You right. At the center of the action. Before this is fantastic. So there's like a race that's going on in the yep. middle of a. This is fantastic. And watch out! Watch, watch out right there. Well, okay. Okay, race is starting. Rip rod and twin duction. Okay, here we go. Okay, all right. Here we go. Woo! Wait a minute. Okay. Oh no! What? Oh my God! Oh. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Yeah, it's a really fun experience. This is so much fun. Yeah, you really feel like you're in a completely different place from where you are right now. That is fantastic. Yeah. Viewmaster, man. That's right. Welcome to the future. <laughs> I love it. Thank you so it's much, my Dana. Thank really you. appreciate it. Thank you. All right, we're going to head over to my buddy. How are you, buddy? What's up, Alex? Good to see you. Good, Good to see you. you so, too. what do you got? We got. Well, we are talking about our fusion factory here. Dude, the kids can actually make their own Hot Wheels vehicles. Really cool. Okay, gonna go I'm going to come, come over here to Michael. Perfect. Going to go ahead and take our fusion fluid, drop that down here. We got these cool bad boy car makers. All I got to do is drop this in like so. Okay. Slide this up, squeeze it down. Our fusion goes into the car. So, wait, so you're making your own. Hot make, Wheels car. I'm making my own Hot Wheels car, Alex. What? Is that we're making it epic, dude? This is fantastic. Five minutes later, check out the mold. You actually have your Hot Wheels vehicle. That's fantastic. And now look at this. I have a Hot Wheels chassis. All I have to okay. do is take this, attach this on like so. Boom, boom, dude. You got a car that is ready to race on your track. We can pimp it out. I can put a spoiler, a window oh, in so there. So there's accessories you can put right on there. Right on there. So the kids are designing really their own Hot Wheels car based out of this bad boy, the Fusion Factory. That is fantastic. Well, yeah. look, once we get a Hot Wheels car, yep. I've always wanted to fly one in the air. Dude, I'm... What? I, is that something we can do? Let's do I'm this, Mike. Come on, Michael. Let's see this bad boy. Skyshock RC. This is where this bad boy will actually take off and fly. But I first, love this. I feel like this is the future of cars anyway. This so is really... That it's I, a Hot Wheel is great. You know what I like about this bad boy is that, first of all, it is a very cool vehicle, so it'll zip left, right. I can maneuver beautifully. But so it works as a car. It works as a car, but ready for this? Boom! Ooh, what? It, it flies. It's Skyshock RC. <laughs> this bad boy can take off when I land. I can drop it back down, but I think it's worth it again. Boom! Dude, that is ridiculous. Well, look, Hot Wheels is all about tracks. That's right. Let's talk and about I that. see an amazing new track right over here that I want you to talk to me about. Because this is a this is a majestic centerpiece, my friend. It is beautiful. It is called the Hot Wheels Track Builders. You see a lot of cardboard here, and I'll tell you why. The box itself is part of the track. What? I can actually attach my track. I can jump. I can fly over the canyon here. Directions inside show the kids how to do it. So this, when you're unboxing, which we're doing a lot of here right now, you don't just throw the box away. No. You actually get to experience the toy with the box. That's fantastic. Yep, it is all about building out your track set. But talk about track set. This is my This is favorite. ridiculous. This is our dual booster. Alex, now for the first time we can actually stack our boosters, okay? Oh, all right. So I've got this guy here, this guy here. What you and I are going to try to do, my friend, yes. drive this down. We're going to jump that loop. We're going to fly over those cars and try to land into that cup down there. I feel like I can do that. All right, man. Here we I go. I feel like first try I'm going to do that. Let me power it up. I want you to just set that car Okay, here, here we go. Here we go, man. All right, everybody. Everybody at home, wish me luck. This is exciting. Ladies come and gentlemen, up and Oh, oh, you got just it! Just flipped it! Just a no. wait, one more time, hang on. Alright, one more time, one more time. Give me that car. I felt that car. I felt right, that car. Go Here we go. Ready? Right, we go. And send her down. Come on, baby. I feel Up like that was the one. Yeah! Dude, Hot Dude. Wheels rocks! This is so much fun. I can't, well, let me see if we can we do a slow-mo instant replay on that? Oh, I is love that a that. thing that we can do? It's, it sounds like a thing you can do. Oh my god, there it goes. What? Yes! Alex oh, my God. Alex. Michael, thank you so Alex, much. Such a We're going to do a Magic 8-Ball question here. Let's see what we got. So this is from the Twitter sphere. Is the Magic 8-Ball reliable? Is the Magic 8-Ball reliable? I feel like that's sort of sacrilegious, asking the Magic 8-Ball if it's reliable. So you're but questioning let's the 8-Ball. Concentrate and ask again. I feel like that's the Magic 8-Ball being yeah. shady. We don't have a lot of time. Let's no, move it's it like, on, man. Just, just, just move it on. Move it on. We got to talk. Thank you so much. Alex, a pleasure, man. So let's take a look real quick at Thomas and Friends.
Oh my God, I am here with Aaron. Aaron. How's it going? Oh my God. So these are now, Thomas is taking his way into the mini world. The mighty, mighty minis. Here we are. So these are all about collecting all of your favorite different characters. So we are unleashing a minis invasion. So we're going to have it. 88 different characters, eight different themes within those 88. And we also have two amazing licenses with uh, DC Super Friends. Awesome little superhero mashups. Yeah. SpongeBob. Oh, hey, man. Come on. You're going to do something. Do you it SpongeBob. You got to bob it up. <laughs> so, so get ready for all your favorite superheroes, SpongeBob, and the world's favorite number one engine, and Thomas. That's amazing. And so these are going to come in a lot of different types of packs, but yes. you're also going to do blind packs, blind right? Blind packs. So you're always like, who am I going to get? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It keeps the excitement up. People always want to know who they're going to get next. So we're going to have blind packs, mm -hmm. one packs, two packs, three packs, and with your DC Super Friends, you're going to have four packs and nine packs. Oh my God, there's so many packs. It's so many packs. Go get all your favorite uh, friends. I feel like we need to have some jumping. I feel like over there, Hot Wheels, a lot of jumping. They got nothing I feel on like us. Thomas, they got Thomas has us. got some up his sleeve. So let's take let's a look over it. here. What's up, guys? Hey, how are you? Why don't you guys come on in here? All right. Slide on in. Slide. So we are here. This is, this is Kitty Mama. How are you guys? We are Kitty's mama. What? You are Kitty's mama. What are your guys' names? Emma. Emma. I'm Jonah. Jonah. And I'm Noah. Noah. I love it. This is going to be so fantastic. So, Thomas and Friends, The Great Race, the movie. When does The Great Race, the movie come out? Is it? Fall 2016. Fall 2016. Yes. But this is a big deal in the movie. Yes. And this is the sky this jumper? This is the sky high bridge jump. Are you sky guys ready? Sky high bridge ready. jump. Are you guys yes. ready to see this? Yeah. Yes. I've Let's seen this in rehearsal, guys. Just get prepared. I'm I mean, prepared. Uh, get prepared. You're not prepared. Nobody's no, prepared. Nobody's okay. prepared. All right, let's see what happens. See, I think we should get some safety glasses for these guys because they are about to have. The, there's a slight chance of blindness from overexposure to awesomeness. Yeah. So oh, just no. I want it on record that, that I warned them. Okay. I've gotten that before. Right. There you go. Are you guys ready? <laughs> All right, here we go. We go. Can we get a Thomas? Thomas. 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 First off, a helicopter friend. Come on. Come on. What? Crazy, right? Are you kidding me? All right, we want to see a slow-mo instant replay. We're going to do a slow-mo instant replay for everybody. So let's talk slow-mo. What's up, my thing? I love this thing is fantastic. By the way, the magic happens in here because it comes in so hot and then just casually strolls out like a tank. Yeah, it's like whatever. This is pretty easy. No biggie. I love it. All right, guys. Thanks for coming in. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much, Aaron. We're going to go check out some stuff about Bob the Builder. And Bob the Builder's here. What's going on, dude? Nice to meet you. High fives. Speaking of high fives, Gavin, you want to come in and tell us a little bit about Thomas and his uh, RC Super Scoop? Absolutely. So we got Scoop here, one of the most popular characters from the show. He's very silly. Boys love him. And we have our Super Scoop RC. He's going to be able to go forwards and back, lift things up with the back and the, and the front bucket. But the really cool thing here is the great Whoa. stunt he does at the end of the day to celebrate a job well done. He's like, Bob did on it. His head all by himself. He's going to give you a big old high five. Boom. Hit me one more time, Scoop. Boom. Absolutely. <laughs> the Scoop. The Scoop. The Scoop is on tires. <laughs> He lets himself down all by himself, no aid from the child whatsoever, and then he's ready to roll out for more preschool construction. So this work. is like one button RC glory. Absolutely, it all works with Bob's smartphone right here, just like the show. Amazing. Easy to use controls for our kids. I love it. Now, let's get our hands dirty. I see Absolutely. some stuff over here. I want to take a look. This is the mash and mold play sand. Yes, the mash and mold play sand segment. We have our play set here. It's our construction site play set. Comes with four tiles so you can customize the shape of your play set. Comes with 16 ounces of our mash this mold play sand. This is fantastic. I, I have never touched anything like this before. It feels yeah. like sand, but then molds yeah. like a clay. And it never dries out, holds its shape. You can put it in one of the extruder tiles that comes with it, put it in the crunching machine. That makes custom building blocks like you can see right there. What? Yeah. You can also put him in the various other parts, like Tiny the Crane makes various building blocks like you see here. Use his wrecking ball to tear it all down, or you can put it on the demolition pad and knock it all down, build it all back That's up fantastic, again. and he's got friends from the show, right? That's right, we got Dizzy the Cement Mixer right there. He makes little traffic cones. We got Bob and Windy figures, which are also sand uh, stampers oh right here God, with little footprints. Awesome. 
Uh -huh. And they work in the same scale as the mash and mold sand vehicles, which are sold separately, but they also come with four ounces of sand, and they've got great molding capabilities. Oh, that's make cool. all your favorite props there to make a customized construction set. That's fantastic. Thank you so much, you Gavin. Uh, you know, Kai, uh, DJ Kai Song has been stuck behind the DJ booth too long. I think it's time for him to check out what Fisher Price has going as far as music goes. Beep, go, boogie, do the beep, go, boogie, clap, clap. Thanks, Alex. I'm here at the Fisher-Price booth with Laura here. So, Laura, what you got for us? Oh, my gosh, we have so much fun, and we have a lot of dancing to do. We have the Dance and Move Beat Bow, which came out last year, but he won the Toy of the Year Award. Wow. I know. It's pretty impressive. So, of course, we've got more to offer. The first thing I want to introduce you to is Beat Belle, Beat Bow's sweet and spunky sister. She's right over here. What's really cool is that, of course, she's got awesome dance moves. She's got dance mode. She has learning mode. You can even record your own voice, and she remixes it and plays it back in a song. But you're going to see in a minute her little belly is so cute. It lights up with all these beautiful colors, really engaging for baby and, well, anyone of all ages basically. Um, and then we have Beat Bow over here. Come with me. You want to check him out? Yeah. Okay, awesome. Let's go right over here. This is Beat Bow Wow, their four-legged friend. He's adorable, as you can see. His little ears will go back and forth. We'll see him in just a moment. But not only that, there is a dance mat. I have a feeling, Kai, that you are going to really love this dance mat. What's cool is that for even the littlest babies, they can bat at Beat Bow to get the party started. They can press on one of the giant console buttons there, but there are also sensors in the mat that know where baby moves, and it rewards them for their play. Cool. Yeah, I, I want to try this stuff uh, out. Okay, okay. The oldest? You start on Beat Bow. Oh, you got it. Start on Beat Bow. I'll get these guys going. Yeah, it's a dance party at Fisher Price pretty much all the time. So that is the Learning Lights dance mat. That's right, as baby moves around, it is just party, party, party time. What do you think, Kai? They're awesome. Why am I interviewing you now? All right, guys. Kai, you're having way too much fun. I want you guys to keep having fun, and I'm going to take a look at some more innovation from Fisher Price. Have fun, guys. I'm going to come over here and chat with B. Hi, B. Hi. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. Great. Uh, we uh, we also have Mike and Holly from. Hey, that's Mike. Mike, Holly, come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Actually, come around here so you guys can chat because I got the mic. Oh, good. As it were. Welcome to science. Mm. Yes. That's how I feel like. Welcome to science. Yes. So, B, we have uh, a couple different products, but the first one is the Learn Smart Color Chameleon. So, explain to us what this chameleon is all about. Okay, so it's a part of our new Think and Learn line, brand new for Fisher Price. And it's all about bringing 21st century skills to preschoolers, okay? Not just ABCs and 123s, but things like critical thinking and problem solving, sequencing, things that are being taught in classrooms right now that are so important to moms. Yeah, I'm a big fan of this because I'm a, I'm a computer science guy. Right. Like from way and, back in the day. And we homeschool our kids. And we have oh my God. We're fans because yeah. we're parents. <laughs> then we go. As parents, we have a preschooler. She's three years old and she loves to play with toys. Oh my God. Well, this chameleon thing is going to be right up her alley. Oh yeah, yeah she's going to love it. So why don't we walk us through and see how this guy works? Let's do it. Okay. So as you said, this is our Smart Scan Colors Chameleon, part of our Think and Learn line. Now his magic is that he has a scanner in his paintbrush, okay? And no matter what you do with him, what you put him on or scan with, like it's the counter, maybe your clothing, or one of the 10 paint splats that he comes with, he's going to know that color and he's going to turn that color. So let me give you a little. This is, uh, seriously, I did not believe it. I honestly was like, no, I won't. I just got to see it. Gotta yeah, see I was like, no, thank you. All right, yes. what are we going to do first? Okay. He has three different modes of play in which he challenges a child with problem solving and sequencing and color identification and recognition and color mixing so Jeez. much. I know. Fantastic. <laughs> Fantastic. So let's just try with the paint splats. What he's going to do is scan each one. Let's see. Oh, see? What? He turns blue. Crazy, right? Um, I don't know. I'll give you another one. Uh, he turns green. He knows what it is. 
and he turns yellow, okay? That's the magic, but then in the gaming modes, he might scan that blue paint splat, and he might say, that's blue. Find five other items in the room that are also blue. And if the child's right, he rewards them with fun sounds and colors and whatnot. Now that's pretty cool, like being able to yeah. say, not only just, hey, use the tile, but like, go find anything else work. that's blue. Yeah, go. <laughs> and it doesn't feel like work, yeah, which right. is the it's best the way fun. to convince it's a child fun. to do work. To learn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hands-on, active learning when they're getting it right and not even knowing they're taking it in. That's fantastic. Yeah. So, hey, that's Mike. Yes. yes. Explain to me your channel. What is it that you guys do? What is it that you guys love? Well, we love toys. Our YouTube channel is Hey That's Mike, toys. and we do unboxing and toy reviews. We play with toys. We have a wide age range in our family. Um, we have a 13-year-old and a 3-year-old. That is so, a gap. Yes, it is That is an gap. interesting gap. Every range of toys. Yeah. yeah, it's really nice because we all love all different kinds of toys, and we love to play and have fun as a family and do different activities as a family. And like I said, we homeschool, so we also like the educational toys yeah. as well. So. As much as we can teach them. That's so, fantastic. Well, look, yeah. hey. Speaking of teaching, I said I'm a coder. Welcome to <laughs> the Coda Pillar. This thing is great. Come in here. Come in here. Super cute. It's super cute and learning. Right. Period. End stop. So, t so tell us a little bit about Coda Pillar. Okay. He is our hero item with our Think and Learn line, and he's hot off of his debut at CES. So it oh, is wow. all about science. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like science means fun and play. And um, he actually comes, we come up here just a bit. Yeah, totally. He's going to come with eight individual segments and a motorized head, okay? But the way that we play with him, I'm going to grab our fellow down here for one second. Yeah, bring him in. I'm bringing y'all This is fantastic. Place. Okay, the way we play is he pops apart in these really cool techy little segments that look like USB ports. And frankly, they are USB ports. <laughs> that's, they look like that because that's they, what they are. They are. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and each one of them has an icon, which is really a directional. So for example, what we're doing here is we're saying, I'm going to take him left, and then I'm going to take him on a straightaway, and then I'm going to take him for another left-hand turn, and then I'm going to play some music. Right? Why don't you guys switch them together, see what yeah. you want them to do? Because <laughs> yeah. this I is fantastic. Take all the pieces. I know, see how right? Long of a one I can make and how far he'll go. Yeah. <laughs> and what's the? Yeah. It's 16 was the you amount of up segments. Up 15, to really 15. close. <gasps> really so close. close. Yeah. I did say that I only knew one bullet point. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just a gap. Really close, really, really <laughs> close. Yeah, we offer expansion packs. So he comes with eight individual segments. There's a few you're playing with there. But uh, you can add up to 15, uh, and he will actually play out the code. And when you're done playing over there, um, you can play oh, it. You can turn but you on. have... They made a dance. Yes. We have yes. one. We <laughs> have one prepped and ready. <laughs> prepped and dance, dance ready. Okay. He's been sleeping a little bit. We're waking him up. There we go. You can tell that they're actually reading the code or the sequence that you've just put together because they start to flash. And then they're off on their way. And you can tell what part of the sequence they're actually working on because that particular segment flashes and lights up. This is crazy. It's like, great. I feel like I wanted this when I was coding. Right. <laughs> I mean, when I was coding, when, you know, I was five. No reason you can't have one now. <laughs> that is definitely true. Certainly. By the way, this is on my list of things to take home with me. I'll tell you what, Alex, you can challenge yourself and keep going with this Coda Pillar because we have little discs that it comes with, a start line and a finish line, and as the child starts to realize the cause and effect, they can actually try to program or sequence uh, the Coda Pillar from one point to the other, and that takes critical thinking and That's problem so smart. skills, right? That's so Thank you so much, so B. Helpful. Guys, great meeting you. Yeah, you good too. Good luck, and good luck with the uh, three-year-old. Well, <laughs> Thank you. Just, yeah, <laughs> yeah, she better. All right, we're going to do a uh, Magic 8-Ball question from the interwebs. Is the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle party wagon going to a pizza party? Let's find out. Hold on. It says yes. That makes sense, because it's the party wagon. All right. It's time. It's time for Barbie, everybody. DJ Kai Song, please, Barbie remix us. <laughs>
So it is time for us to finally talk about Barbie. Because I feel like we got to give Barbie her day in court, okay. as it were. Speaking of day in court, maybe I want to be a lawyer. Right. Maybe we should talk about Barbie careers. Well, you've come to the perfect place. So this is Stephanie from Mattel, Hi. as well as Justin from Epic Toy Channel. That's How right. are you, sir? So good and so excited to be here at the Barbie Dude, booth. careers? Careers, jobs. Jobs. Yeah. Let's give every person a job. You right. You can be anything in Barbie. That's you right. can be anything in Barbie. That's so let's talk about a couple of these job guys here. Here we go. So what do we got? So we have a pilot, a pet vet, a figure skater, a nurse, a yep. chef, and a firefighter. So our career line is all about showing girls you can take on any role. You can be anything with Barbie. I love it. I oh, love yeah. it. I am, am particular to the pet vet. Oh. Pet vet. I'm particular to the fire woman. Really? Yeah. <laughs> It's just, just kind of a thing. Yeah, it feels me. good. I it, like that. It's just right. And I have a three year old little girl. So, you know, it's I love career Barbie for that reason, probably. Yeah. It's awesome. That's a good that's a good yeah. and by the way, there's even medical careers. That's right. Oh yeah. Like, and not oh, just yeah. medical. Not just any, right. right. No. So what do we got? Our medical playset. You have Dennis Barbie in the back. Dennis Barbie. That's so cool. Right. A trip to the dentist can be a little scary, but not when you have Barbie taking care of you. We have Dr. Barbie, mm -hmm. but brand new. Are you ready to see what we have? I'm ready to see this. Okay, this is our get, get in here, Justin. Right. Is, I mean, yeah, you got to yeah, check this out. Involves food. I yeah. Mean, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's our spaghetti chef. She's in the kitchen ready to cook up a storm. We take a little bit of our Barbie dough. Of course, we nice. have Barbie dough. Yeah. Fun and easy to use tool. But. You just place it in here. You ready for some spaghetti and meatballs? I love spaghetti. Oh, yeah, spaghetti. Oh yeah. my God, that's way faster than I cook it. I don't know about you guys. Yeah. Wow. So Justin, what do you think that your daughter is going to have her favorite career? What do you think? Well, it's President's Day. Oh yes, good segue, Did sir. you like that? Do you he like didn't that? Even, he didn't even have like cards. That? Nothing, no cards. That's no fantastic. Cards. No cards. No cards. It's President's it Day. It is President's Day. So I'm thinking, I don't joke around about President's Day. No. That's right. Stephanie. Okay, so for the first time ever, we have an all-female ticket. Get excited. This is the time. Right? Now's the time. Now's the time. 2016. President Barbie, red, white, and blue, comes in a two-pack with vice president in yellow. Can you uh, believe that? Amazing. Yeah. So are you thinking, is she going to be like, I'm going to go vice president? I feel like I would love to be the person who's like, you know what? My buddy, he's going to be president. I'm going to go ahead and just right. get in there, okay. VP style. Right. I right. still get to eat at the White House. Right. There you go. That's what's oh, important. I, like that. I get to and go on it, trips. If yeah. it goes well, then, you know, get a promotion. But yeah. Just test it out. Just test it out. Yeah. Right. Now, speaking of promotions, oh, yeah. did, have you seen this yet? I did. Oh, it's you, so cool. You <laughs> snuck it. I love it. I love it. All right. I'm going to come over here. Okay. Let's ready? see what we got. So this okay. is our flipping fun gymnast. We have Coach Barbie, who's ready to teach her student how to do a flip and stick the perfect landing. Are you ready? I'm you ready? beyond ready. You're beyond you saw ready? this before already. Yeah. Oh, my oh, yeah. God. Mm. Yay! What? Did you see it? Okay. You no, see that? that was, that was we got to do, we gotta yeah, do an instant that. replay. Okay. Let's do a slow-mo instant replay for the fans at home. Dude. First off, six every time. Right, every time. Can every believe, time. Yeah, especially with the cultural noise around the Olympics. Perfect, right? Yeah, that's fantastic. But not only that, Coach Barbie has a trophy waiting for our student. Yay. Oh, my God. Of course she has a trophy. <laughs> of course. I love it. <laughs> Justin, nice meeting you. Thank you so much. You. Stephanie, pleasure. Oh, wait. I have, a, I have something coming in. It sounds like, yes, it's a command from Barbie Spy Squad. They need you to see a clip. Okay, so check this out. My two best friends and I, we're champion gymnasts. But yesterday, we were chosen to join a super top secret agency. And now, we're secret agents. Get ready to join the squad in an all new movie, Barbie Spy Squad. Coming to Blu-ray, DVD, and digital HD. So Barbie Spy Squad, I'm here with Jessica and uh, Lastic yes. from Daltastic. Daltastic. Lastic from Daltastic. That's right. <laughs> Woo! Congratulations on your name. That's amazing. Uh, and this is the Barbie Spy Squad movie. Yes. Is this out yet or is this, this coming out soon? This comes out March 1st. Well, this comes out March 1st. Yeah. So you guys will be able to see it. Absolutely. And what do we have here as far as Spy Barbies? <laughs> have you seen any of the Spy Barbie no, stuff? No, I have not. Welcome to the future. Yay! <laughs> so let's, so talk us through Spytastic Barbie. Okay, so Barbie and her friends are debuting as secret agents in the movie, of course. So we have some really cool features. Um, they're world-class gymnasts and they get recruited to a top secret spy agency. So That's we are fantastic. going to By the way, you. spies? Yes. I mean, come on. That's I know, they are really cool. They're really cool. And I now Barbie. And you can be one. Yeah, now I can be one. Kind of pretend like I, I could be one. 
So this is, uh, who is this right so here? this is Secret Agent Barbie. Okay. And of course she has her beautiful pink trench coat on. She has a fully articulated body underneath. Which wow. you need. Which you need. If you're a spy, you're a spy right? you better articulate, yeah. you know what I mean? <laughs> she comes with her signature spy gadget that you plug into the opening in her back. Yeah, this if is you great. Roll I don't her Look at that. Surface, right? That is she literally so gasped. Cool. She literally gasped. Oh my gosh, I can't even do that. <laughs> with a simple twist, you can do front flips and then you can do back flips as well. That is fantastic. That is so cool. Do you want to take, can she try it out? Do you want to try it out? I don't know. I see it. Is that okay? Yeah, I've never, I don't, I literally just did that because we're live. Be careful of Teresa and Renee there. What do I do? So you just roll her along the surface and then she'll do cartwheels. There you go. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. That is fantastic. No, does she twirl? And then you can twist Oh my goodness, that is so cool. Yeah, she can do right or left cartwheels, you know. This is fantastic. This is pretty good, right? Yeah, this is really cool. And then you twist her this way, and then that'll do her flips. All right, here we go. There you go. Oh that my is God. so easy and to do. Flips. So now, and then who are these that he, Who are these guys that we have with her? Okay, so this is Secret Agent Teresa and Secret Agent Renee. So they're helping her out in the film. It's all about teamwork. Amazing. Yeah. So let's, speaking of films, Yes. there's another film there that we got to talk about. There let's is. wander over here okay. and see some uh, Barbie Starlight Adventure. Barbie Starlight Adventure. This is maybe one of my favorite <laughs> toys of the day. Are okay. you kidding me? It's like Barbie <laughs> went to space. Yeah, she And did. then thought, you know what I need in my space? My cat. Yeah. Right? Who doesn't bring their cat to space? And then once of you're course. in space, it's like, well, now my cat's just stuck in well, space. Well, then you have to, well, what are you going to do when what you're on you your hoverboard? Do? Right. And your cat needs to come with you. Right. What so you are you going to do? you create a flying contraption so that they'll be able to come with you on all of your space adventures. Attached to a dog yes. leash. <laughs> this is my favorite thing. I just love that this was like... And it, wait, it's gonna fly? Oh yeah, of course it's gonna fly. What? <laughs> oh my God. This, so this is her, her cat, Pickles? Yes. Pickles? Uh, pop, 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 popcorn. Pop, popcorn. Popcorn. Yeah, the you'll, you'll have popcorn. to see in the movie. I'm so there's excited. A whole, there's a whole storyline behind it. Uh, behind popcorn. Of course. Popcorn and her helicopter arms. Yes. Okay, so let's see this bad boy fly. Come on, popcorn. Come on, Yay! popcorn. What? This is so great. This is literally like one of my favorite toys in this entire experience. <laughs> Because it's so popcorn, popcorn and she, popcorn. she flies. So yeah. when is the movie coming out? The movie is being released in September. In September. In September. So that's when we're going to see all this stuff. Absolutely. Now, popcorn flies. Yes. I've heard that there's some other flying elements. Oh, RC yeah. is big. RC yeah. is big. RC is big. So now Barbie is going to fly on right. her own let's RC. Get, let's get Lastic in here. I want her to see this too. <laughs> Lastic. Oh my gosh. Where is she? She bailed. She bailed. It's okay. okay. But it, it, okay. She, it was too much. Lastic, come here. Come here. I want you to see this. Look at what they have. This is Barbie's, is it Starlight Adventure RC Hoverboard? Yes. This yes. is amazing. Yes. And I've been told that this flies inside. Yes, it flies inside, of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Everybody back up a little bit. All right. Has a very okay. simple to use are remote you, control are you nervous? as well. <laughs> no. I'm not are nervous. you nervous? I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm, I'm not nervous. Falls. I know. I'm nervous more oh, for me. Okay. That's sweet that she'll she was okay. like, what if Barbie she's, falls? She's a good hoverboarder. She'll be okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I don't know are how we far ready? Back we are we get. ready to launch? Uh, All right. Yes. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my, gosh, that is so oh my god, cameras. She's gonna everybody, hit the camera. everybody duck. Here we go, Barbie. Come back, come back, Barbie. This is oh my god. All right, I'm gonna try to land her okay. on her pedestal. Okay. Yep, here we go. Oh. Here we go. Can I do it? Oh, oh no, but that's almost. good. No, but she's landed. She has landed. She has landed. Can we get a replay of it almost hitting the camera? Because it was epic. Here we go. Okay. Uh, this is so great. Because you know why? She's safe. Look at that. She even she's landed. Safe. Oh, she landed. Feet up. Yeah, she's Feet good. up. Everything's she's great. Good. Thank you so You're much. Last good seeing you. Thank you for coming back. You. Okay. We, we will be back. Yeah. We'll be back. But first, we've got to talk about the, the most amazing news in Barbie since Barbie. Uh, so with us is Marissa from yes. Mattel. How are you, Marissa? I'm doing great. How and are you? You guys have must have had like some crazy couple weeks here. Yeah, I mean, it's been longer than a few weeks. It's been crazy. Yeah, it's been yeah, really yeah, yeah, fun. yeah. We're so excited. So let's talk about the Barbie fashionista dolls. Yeah, so we're um, an expanded line. So this year we have 33, as you can see, squad Fantastic. goals here. Fantastic. Um, and we've introduced three new body types. So we have 
petite, tall, and curvy. Um, so those are additive to our line, and now we offer girls even more choices, which we're well, super it's great. excited. And because they always say, you can be anything yeah. in Barbie, and now girls can really see themselves reflected in lots of different Barbies, which is fantastic. It's awesome. And how many yeah. combinations do you, are you guys doing, or is it just too many to even think about? Well, there's 33 different dolls that come with looks, but obviously mixing and matching all does is infinite amounts of uh, combinations. That is fantastic. So this is like the most amazing news from Barbie since Barbie. Talk Correct. about the plan, the process of getting into it and how you went through the process of coming up with, let's do a new line of different yeah. sizes of Barbie. I mean, obviously Barbie continues to um, evolve as she's reflecting culture um, to stay relevant for 57 years. So this just made sense. Obviously the world is changing, the classroom looks different than it ever has. So this yeah. was a natural next stop for us. That's fantastic. And yeah. how has the feedback been? It's been amazing. We yeah. I mean, we knew we knew that it yeah. was an awesome thing to do, but the feedback has been great from girls to moms to, um, you know, just everyone that we've met and to show them this is the first time they've been shown in person. So That's even fantastic. seeing them in person versus seeing a photo is so totally this different. So this is the first time they've been seen in person. Mm -hmm. So do you want to walk me through a couple of them? Maybe uh, sure. show, spin them around well, a bit? Well, which one's we your favorite? Oh, geez. That's I know. way too much pressure. Let me put it on you a little. Um, so obviously with the three new body types, they're reflective of with, um, you know, different ethnicities and different yeah. combinations. Um, they all have awesome street style. Yeah. Um, Barbie has flats and heels now, so you can wear um, either of them. So this one, curvy with blue hair is one of our favorites. Um, I love her with her tall and her awesome little yeah, so booth. there's a lot of variations in the hairstyles as well and the hair colors. Yeah. Because a lot of people now, like, I mean, especially young girls, Hair color is one of is an accessory. Yes. You know yes. what I mean? Like when I was growing up, hair color was not an accessory. You had your hair color. Right. Period. Yep. And but you now it's like so much fun. Yeah. I mean, I think girls really like that because they might not be able to dye their own hair, but they can find a purple bob cut that they would want someday. So that's fantastic. And so, do they all do? You know, now that you have new body types, does that mean all new accessories? And you have access mm -hmm. to new clothes and stuff like that? Yeah, I mean, it's just more combinations. So, um, you know, they we had flat feet. We introduced flat feet last year. So that opened up Barbie's dream closet for all the shoes you could have. And Amazing. now there's even infinitely more outfit options, which is pretty cool. That is fantastic. And did I hear right that you guys were like on the cover of Time? We were. We were on the what? cover of Time Magazine. I know. What toy gets the cover of Time Magazine? That right? is Fantastic. Yeah. Why is why do you think that's important to Barbie? Um, you know, I think she's been she's established herself as an icon, and she, um, you know, has made herself a, a name for herself in society. And so this kind of change is something everyone can relate with, and everyone has a Barbie story. So everyone, yeah. you know, has some sort of connection. To well, her, and so. I love how you're evolving the Barbie story, and it's not just saying back in the old Barbie days. It's the Barbie is becoming culturally, or staying culturally relevant yeah. to every phase of, yeah, of her life. Yeah, from careers to the new empowered storylines to this. So um, this is just the beginning. That so we have lots more coming up. That is fantastic. Well, yeah. thank you of so much yeah, thank you for, for showing us the Barbie Fashionista line. Guys, girls, gentlemen, ladies, that's it. We have kids of all ages. Everybody's invited to this party. That is it for 2016 Toy Fair. Mattel has been amazing to open this mostly private event to to you, the fans. And we've seen so much amazing stuff. Actually, you know what? Let's do one last Magic 8 Ball. How well did we do today? Wait, literally, it's, it, come on, there it is. Yes, I love it. This is fantastic. This is what we're talking about. How well did we do? Yes, that's how well we did. We talked about Barbie. We talked about Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Don't say anything, they're ninjas. I could barely see them out of the corner of my eye. That's how ninja-y they are. We talked about all of the new great Hot Wheels stuff. We had DJ Kai Song spinning a song. Speaking of which, why don't you spin us out a little something there, DJ Kai? So great. Everyone, it has been a pleasure. We have seen toys, there's even more to come. Mattel's got everything you need for your toy closet. I'm Alex Albrecht, we will see you later. Enjoy your toys. <laughs>